Question 33, one and a fifth take away a quarter. Now the problem we've got here is that these fractions have different denominators. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make them have the same denominator. So we were looking for one fifth and one quarter to be turned into equivalent fractions with the same denominator. Now you need to find a common denominator. And an easy way to do that is to take the two denominators you've got already and times them together. So 5 times 4 gives us 20. So let's make two new fractions with 20 as a common denominator. Make them both out of 20. We'll need to figure out how to change this one into 20ths and how to change this one into 20ths. So how do you get from fifths into 20ths? You need to times by 4 because 5 times 4 is 20. Whatever you do to the bottom, you must also do to the top. So we need to do 1 times 4 to get 4. So 1 fifth is the same as 4 twentieths. So let me write that down underneath my 1 fifth. A quarter, well to get from quarters to twentieths, you need to times by 5, because 4 times 5 makes 20. And whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So if 4 times 5 makes 20, and if you do 1 times 5, makes 5. So 1 quarter is the same as 5 twentieths. So we've got to do 4 twentieths minus 5 twentieths. Now we've got a problem here because 4 twentieths is actually smaller than 5 twentieths. So we can't really do it. So we need to remember that this wasn't just 1 fifth in the first place. It was one whole one and 1 fifth. So I need to remember to put this whole one back in. So it's 1 whole one and 4 twentieths take away 5 twentieths. Now the obvious thing to do here is from the whole one, take off the 4 twentieths. So if you do 1 whole 1 and 4 twentieths and take off 4 twentieths, this 4 twentieths here and this 4 twentieths is going to cancel each other out. So if you take 4 twentieths off 1 whole 1 and 4 twentieths, you'd just be left with 1 whole 1 left. But we've only taken off 4 twentieths and we need to take off 5 twentieths. So there's an extra 1 twentieth there to take off extra 1 20 because we're only taking a 4 20. So you need to do one whole one take away 1 20. Now remember a whole one if we're dealing with 20 ifs a whole one would have 20 20 ifs. So if you do 20 20 ifs and take off 1 20 if you're going to end up with 19 20 ifs left. So 20 20 ifs take away 1 20 19 20 ifs. And that's your final answer, 19 twentieths. Just a quick recap, we used a common denominator of 20. So on this side we were times in both numbers by 4 to get 4 twentieths. On this side we times both numbers by 5 to get 5 twentieths. One whole one of 4 twentieths, take away 5 twentieths. Well we knocked off the 4 twentieths first, just to leave it with a whole one. Then we needed to take off an extra 1 twentieth. And one whole one, take away one twentieth, is the same as twenty twentieth, take away one twentieth, which is like saying twenty apples, take away one apple, which would be nineteen apples. Well, the unit in this case is not apples, the unit is twentieth, so we're left with nineteen twentieths. And that's the correct answer.